to be accountable is to have the courage to face life for what it is, rather than for what you had hoped or may have wanted it to be. In contrast, refusing accountability encourages a distancing from reality by distracting you from the actions necessary to change or improve that said reality. And this is why knowing how to be accountable is such an important factor on the journey of you becoming your best you. Hi, I'm HC, and here are the steps on how to be accountable. Step 1. Accept. In this context, to accept means to come to terms with being wrong or deviating from your path. This means to understand that despite your best intentions, the actions committed as a result of those intentions were the wrong ones or simply fell short of what was necessary. By refusing to accept the reality of the situation, you are reciprocally choosing to live in denial, fighting against a truth that may very well be right in front of your face. Accepting will help with being accountable because once you accept, you can move forward by taking the actions necessary to remedy the situation at hand. On the journey to becoming the best version of you, to move forward, you must face what is in front of you, Wishing that it was something else or interpreting it as what it is not will not improve or change the situation. This is similar to running into a giant wooden obstacle, blocking your path on a journey, maybe hiking, and then instead of facing the truth of the situation and acknowledging the obstacle, simply saying, oh well, I never really wanted to cross this path anyway, and deciding to live for the rest of your life at that intersection. If you face your truth, you can then start to think of ways to overcome any situation. Step 2. Forgive yourself. Forgiveness is a very important element to accountability. Always remember, no matter how much you hold yourself accountable, if you do not forgive yourself, it will not make the situation better. This is because the absence of forgiveness will likely lead to feelings of resentment and thus inner disturbance and turbulence. This means that no matter how good a situation becomes by holding yourself accountable, on the inside, things will likely be a mess, which may eventually lead to more complications in the future and encourage you landing back into the same situations over and over again. To forgive yourself in this context is to love yourself above all else and to understand that you are human too. It is important to accept that no matter how great you are, you are still prone to making mistakes because no one is perfect. Forgive yourself and choose to move forward. Step 3. Consider Empathy By definition, Empathy is the ability to identify with or understand another's situation or feelings. Considering empathy will help with your judgment, because once we can put ourselves in the shoes of others, we can then begin to understand and appreciate their thought processes, which may turn out to be a stark contrast from the way that we may have thought that they thought. Maybe we do not like what was done, how it was done, or when it was done. But that does not mean that we understood the intention behind what was conspired. Thus, we could be taking something out of context and in turn hurting ourselves with our perception of what we think the reality is. It is important to recognize that not everyone will see things the way that you do, and that does not make them wrong. Empathy will help with accountability, because it will positively influence your ability to reason about a situation by relieving you of the idea that things are put in place to deliberately hurt or be against you. When we stop believing things are against us, we are able to address them from an angle of peace and understanding, as opposed to greeting those same situations with confrontation and dissent. Step 4. Do the work. To do the work means to take the actions and put in the effort needed to remedy the situation. Always remember 
If you care about something, it is your responsibility to maintain it, because most things do not maintain themselves. Think of this like having your favorite pair of shoes, and because it's your favorite pair of shoes, you wear them all the time. Although it may feel good to use them all the time, if you do not do the work necessary to maintain them, by cleaning them and not being too rough with them, they will deteriorate. This is the same with relationships and situations that demand your effort. Let's say you want to hold yourself accountable for wronging a person. Thus, in this scenario, it is you which would be your effort and that person or that person's effort which would equal to or make the relationship possible. If you remove yourself from that equation, no matter how much that person would like for the situation to work out, the equation for the relationship is not possible because it requires effort from both parties to exist. To do the work and take action is to realize what is at stake and to take the necessary steps to protect and maintain what brings you joy, peace, and fulfillment. Step 5. Step back. Be patient. To step back and to be patient in this context is to understand how time can alter your emotions and regulate your perception of things and events, and thus help to heal wounds and rectify situations. Sometimes it's hard to hold yourself accountable in the moment because although you know what is the right thing to do, it may be a strike at your pride or your ego. To be patient is to choose to step away from the situation in order to reconsider or reevaluate your course of action. Instead of telling mistruths or further deteriorating your situation, it may be wise to step back and give yourself the time necessary to assess the situation, free of negative feelings and highly volatile emotions. Appreciate that although you may have had mixed feelings in the heat of the moment, those feelings can change with time. Stepping back will help with being accountable because it is giving yourself permission to consider and reconsider so that you can take the best actions forward on your journey to becoming the best you. So that's it Howell family. Those are the five steps on how to be accountable and move forward today. Thank you for watching this video until the end. You are appreciated. Like and share this video and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. I'll see you here next time on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.